Welcome back, Seven Circles. My name is Jonathan. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. I want to talk to everybody today about um, this whole entire, uh, what is it called? Chicken flu, right? Similar to a swine flu. I don't know if you guys heard about that, but it just came out. I heard about it this morning. Um, what happened down in Nebraska uh, is this highly contagious flu that the chickens have. And uh, basically, they had to kill over um, half a million chickens, over half a million. Uh, I think it was 570,000, something like that, because it's highly contagious. They said that it's lethal, so they just wanted to get rid, rid, rid of all of them. Now, my point is, look, man, how long have we been dealing with this? How long have we been dealing with mad cow disease? This is not the first time that I heard of chicken flu or whatever it's called, uh, chicken fever or whatever, right? Uh, what about H1N1? Remember that from the pigs? Remember when Corona first came out? People said it came from bats or it came from a wet market in Wuhan. I don't know where it came from, but that's what people were saying. All right. Um, you know, you guys know that I was a chef, right? I was a chef for almost three decades. I went to culinary school. I've been to three different culinary schools. And uh, tell me about culinary school. Culinary school, well, guess what? You got to take a lot of classes that teach about nutrition and also about um, how to keep food safety. They call it like food safety. And we talk a lot about the bacteria such as and the viruses and the um, what's the other one? Uh, foodborne illnesses. And you got botulism. You got, um, you know, salmonella. You got E. coli. You got something called trichinosis, which is in pigs. I think I'm saying it right. And um you have a couple more, and I, that's really hard to pronounce. I forget these names, man, but the names are really crazy and, and hard, to, hard to pronounce. They call it the Diddly 7. That's what they call it, the Diddly 7 or the Diddly 8. Hepatitis A, Hepatitis B. Um, my point is that all these things that I just named, right, and all of the recounts that they have, I remember because obviously I've been in a restaurant for a long time, right? So, you know, hey, we have a recall on romaine lettuce. I don't know if you guys ever heard of that. Don't buy the romaine lettuce. We have a, ro a recall on cucumbers. We have a recall on tomatoes because the tomatoes got infected with some type of E. coli or something, right? Remember Chipotle? Chipotle was, uh, you know, about to go out of business. This happened maybe like five years ago because three people got E. coli. And I think one person ended up dying. I'm not sure. Um... But that's a big thing, man. I don't know if you guys remember that restaurant, Chi Chi's. Chi Chi's. It was like a Mexican restaurant. Well, they went out of business. Not a lot of people noticed, but because I was in the loop, I knew all about it. But they went out of business because somebody got extremely sick from um, hepatitis. From hepatitis. Hold on. All right, I'm back. So, with all of these things, man, that's a lot that I just gave you, right? That's a whole lot. And I put out a video not too long ago, maybe like two or three videos ago, and I was talking about all of the vegetarians, a lot of people who were famous that we didn't even know about, like Einstein, like um, Isaac Newton, like Tesla, like Su Serena Williams, like um, her sister, um, and many other people, 80% of the Wu-Tang Clan, you know, Bill, uh, Bill um, what's the guy's name, B Bill Gates, um... Ellen DeGeneres, uh, Michael Jackson, just so many people who practice a plant-based diet. And I know there's a large group of people that look at that and they're like, oh my God, it's vegan, it's stuff, or whatever. And I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. But look, y'all, we want to talk about trust the science, right? It's just mantra, right? That's going around. Trust the science. We want to talk about that. But look what this is doing. Look what this is doing because of the fact that we choose to eat our brothers and our sisters. Or let's just put it like this. We choose to eat our cousins. It's easy to say that on our cousins, right? And we don't care about them. They don't have feelings when they're on our plate. But when they're sleeping in our bed, I'm talking about cats and dogs and even other animals that we come to love. People have snakes and monkeys and tigers and fish and all kinds of things. We love them so dearly, but when they're on our plate, we have a, a, a divide in our, our consciousness. But, I mean, not even from a moral standpoint, even from a health standpoint, right? Look at, look at what we're doing to our bodies. 
So what I'm saying is that are you able to give up eating meat? This is a question, and I know this is a touchy subject. There are many touchy subjects, right? Religion, politics. Nowadays, when people talk about the V, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? That's a touchy subject. And people want to talk around it. And you know, you actually talk to somebody like, what the f are you talking about? We're just talking about the weather. We're talking about some sitcom, some movie. We're talking about uh, what the children did in school. Like the conversations are, are really watered down. Like what's the whole point of talking? If we're just going to talk about nothing, we might as well just, you know, put something over our mouth and practice mono, which is where you don't talk at all because we're wasting energy. That's how I see it. Um, and maybe there is a place for shallow talking, but it's not really my cup of tea. But I'm just saying and I'm just suggesting, like, with everything that I just gave you guys, and there's so much more information that I can give you, okay? Um, maybe it is a good idea that we actually adopt a plant-based diet. There's nothing wrong with that. Look, y'all, I was raised a vegetarian, but when I was 18, I went to Penn State. And for that whole entire year, you know what I did? I ate meat. And you know what happened to me? I got really fat. I mean, really fat. So fat that I almost had to wear a bra. Imagine me in a bra. Yeah, that's how big I, um, that's how big I got. People had jokes when I got back from college. And then, you know, after a year of experimenting with that type of diet, I had to change back. I mean, I have, I have a friend. He's from, he's from Greece. And he told me about the fact that he got a tapeworm twice. You don't get that when you have a plant-based diet. You don't, you don't get that. You don't get that. Right? You don't have all of these diseases, you know, the all of these whatever. You don't have this stuff, salmonella and, you know, H1N1 and mad cow. You don't have to deal with that stuff. So maybe I'm crossing the line. And if I am, then fine. So be it. And maybe I'll lose some subscribers because I'm talking about this. And if so, then fine. Go go somewhere else. If, if so, then fine. Go somewhere else. Maybe this channel isn't for you. Because I'm not really trying to get, like, you know, billions and billions and billions of subscribers. Yeah, that would be nice. I'm not going to lie. That would be really, really nice. But I'm more about being true to myself. That's the reason why I'm an entrepreneur, right? Because I don't got to be fake. Um... And helping people, helping people. So just think about that. Think about that, the fact that so many diseases come from eating meat. And not only are you doing a disservice to yourself, you're doing a disservice to the animal kingdom and the planet and many other things. How can you take a little child to go to a petting zoo and then, you know, you go and get some chicken nuggets right after that? I'm just saying. But that's all I got for you guys today. You know, um, I was not shocked, but I was like, here we go again. Here we go again. So much stuff going on, you know, and if we just literally turned to a plant base. We probably wouldn't be dealing with the whole entire Corona. We probably wouldn't be dealing with the many other things. Um, I tend to think that vegetarians, this could be a little bias on my side, but I tend to think that vegetarians are a little bit more kinder. Um, I mean, I've seen some mean vegetarians. Don't get me wrong. And I've seen some nice people who eat meat and vice versa, but just a little bit more uh, kinder is what I've experienced in my own personal experience. And maybe we wouldn't be going to war. I don't know. But then maybe not. Because then look, what, Bill Clinton? There was war under Bill Clinton, right? And Bill Clinton was a vegetarian. And Bill Clinton was a mess. So let me take that back. But <laughs> but I just, I just really would love to see a higher frequency of consciousness on this planet. And I would love for people to really start speaking up. Whether if they feel uncomfortable or not. Like, maybe everything that I'm saying is not right, but so what? Who cares, man? Just speak up. Stop being so afraid. That's all I got for today. My name is Jonathan. Thank you for tuning in. And I really, really hope that each and every one of you have a great day, a great week, a great month, a great year, and a great life. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time. Peace.